In the titles, it does say this is Ljubljana and beyond, and today is the beyond. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes, we are going to Telji. I think that's how it's pronounced. We asked for two uh, tickets from the railway station behind us here to Telji, and, and she, she said, where, that. where? So then I think you pointed out what it was, and we did get them. Um, I still really don't know how it's pronounced. <laughs> anyway, let's start the show. We need to find track 8 and it's now just after 10 and our train is at 10.15. So I think it's time to make haste. We need the 10.15 to Baribor. Track 8. I think it's up there. So this must be track 1 because the sign is pointed towards track 1. And look how big the trains are, they're like really enormous. And uh -huh. I don't think they're even double deckers, it's just no. they're really big. Yeah, they're. Oh, we can see where the platforms are. Okay. That's two and three. Right. And there are different um, train companies. There is the Slovensky Zelenis, which I think might be the one we're getting, and that's the uh, Slovenia train company. But then there are trains to four other countries yeah. from here. You can get a train to Austria, Croatia, Hungary, and Italy. Italy, yes, that's right, or Italy. So we keep on going. I guess track eight is gonna be over there somewhere. So there do appear to be ticket machines. You can't actually buy the tickets online in this country. For the trains. You, you have to buy it in person. Yeah, or from a machine, but it seems that the machine doesn't even register register where we want to go. Maybe it only does singles or something. We couldn't find the return option. She said that it was like about line. 10 euro a person to go. Who said? Didn't she say that? It was like 10 for one way. Oh, I see. Because she said that originally. Ah, right. Okay. I no, I didn't get that. I did. Yeah. Anyway, the track six and seven is there, which means we need track number eight. Eight, nine, and ten is up here. Up here. And there it is. Track eight, the 1015 to Maribor via Selji. So we've got the steps. It says track nine there, but I guess eight... Must be up here too. Yeah, it is on the right hand side. It looks as like the train's here. Oh, then I think we should get on. Yeah. Do you want to press the button, Paul? And we'll right. get on here. Oh, right. Let's do a toilet review now. It looks very clean, I have to say. We'll not look in the bowl. There's our soap. Yeah. And then I assume there's water. I don't want to get wet. Yeah. And a blower. Yeah. So it all works. Shall I come out? Well, the seats look very nice, very comfortable. So we go down here. Oh no! I fell. So the seats are quite firm and comfortable. I'm not saying they're hard. Quite plush, actually. There's an armrest, which goes up. The one in the middle, no. And it's quite a cold day here. The mm -hmm. temperature kind of fluctuates quite a bit, I find, in this country. A bit like the UK, I suppose. And uh, they've got the heating on, so there is a heater down here, so that's keeping us nice and warm. It will take approximately one hour and 15 minutes to get to our destination. The 
big wide windows over at the other side. There is a spot for a disabled um, passenger or two with the wheelchair. Single seats just outside the toilet which was just there. So it's only two stops to sell G. I know it's not pronounced like that, but I don't know how it's pronounced and I don't think I could pronounce it. The first stop is Zidani Most and that is at 11.08. So we left at 10.15, so it's almost an hour, just under an hour until the next stop. And then ours is one stop after that and it takes another 22 minutes. So we're due to arrive at 11.30. There is free Wi-Fi on board. You just select the train company under your Wi-Fi signal and in actual fact that's the only one that's probably going to come up. And it was a bit of a faff for me. Paul went on immediately. It took me a little bit longer. But it is working. I always check Google and a couple of other websites to make sure that it's working. Okay, Paul, show us where we're actually going in relation to Ljubljana today. So, here's Ljubljana, and then we are going to this dot over here. So it's slightly further east. It's not too far away. I think it's 60 kilometers, roughly. Hmm, so it's this place. Yeah. We're going quite slowly now, so it's a good chance to look at some of the architecture of the houses here. It's quite a mix of styles I've seen. Not really sure how to describe it. Um, I guess it's Slovenian. Wow, look at this. Look how high those mountains are over here. Lots of fir trees. Maybe this is where they come to pick their Christmas trees. One thing we've noticed in Ljubljana is that most shops that have Christmas trees, real ones, they just leave them out the whole year and I guess they decorate them at Christmas. Well, as we look out at the lovely mountains, it's a good time to tell you, and I'm going to be reading this of something here because I can't remember it. Slovenia is mostly mountainous and forested. And it covers 20,271 square kilometers, which is 7,827 square miles. And it has a population of 2.1 million. So when you think of it, London has got a population of 8 million. So the population of the entire country of Slovenia is only a quarter of the population of London. And that's a good thing, because I don't really like being amongst a lot of people. The good thing is, is that there are luggage holders right above us, as well as the seats directly behind us as well. There are power sockets on board to charge your phone perhaps. Well, we'll not be doing that because we forgot to bring our chargers. So we'll just have to do with the power that we've got. Celia. Next stop, Celia. 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 I'm gonna sell you something. I thought it was tell you something. I'm gonna sell you something. All right. Tell Celia. That's an interesting dome over there. Looks almost like a circus tent. Quite a large station it seems. Lots of platforms, wide platforms anyway.
Even in Slovenia, there is a rail replacement bus service. We're not taking that. <laughs> oh no, we're going to explore Selji. So let's get going. Yeah, where's the receiver? This is a very strange phone box. Oh. Why can I not make a call? Hello, where's the phone? It's on this side. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. Going up, but I'm trying to get this house for the guy in the future. So welcome to Selji. We can say it now, can't we, Paul? Yeah, Selji. Yeah, that's right. So as you can see, the castle is away up on that hill there. It would take 38 minutes to walk over there and I would say a lot longer because it is uphill. But we're going to explore the town, or is it a city? city. It's a city. And it absolutely looks gorgeous. I was almost going to say delicious. And that's because I'm thinking of food already. Maybe it's time for a coffee. The station's just behind us. We've got this fabulous building just opposite. Not sure what it is. There's information here about Slovenia. Some sort of exhibition, I think. Mm. Maybe it's taking place in here, I don't know. BKS Bank. A hotel. And the birds are chirping. Oh yes, look at that bloom. Who's this lady, Paul? Uh, Alma M. Carlin, 1889 to 1950. Now it looks as though she's carrying a suitcase. Do you think she was... was a suffragette? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Or a refugee of some sort. There we go. Well, this sign is well placed. Just as you arrive in Selji, it's got top attractions. So there's a list here. What have we got? Pavilion for the presentation of archaeological remains in a tech. Uh huh. Techno Park Soji. Uh, Soji Regional Museum. Princely Palace. Regional Museum. Gallery. That says Old Count's Mansion, I think. Gallery of Contemporary Art. A salon gallery. Lots of museums and theatres. And look, it shows here that there is a sort of a five minute radius ring around the city centre. So all these places that are listed here are within the city ring. Apparently, Selji is a count region or something. Oh, so that means that back in the day, a count would have ruled. I think so this area this that, region perhaps that is what i read <laughs> ah right okay well that kind of makes sense this picture here shows you sort of an overview of the city and that would be from the castle i guess looking down so we're probably down here somewhere we've seen this supermarket mercator it it's like a little a bit spanish yeah well, that, it's funny, there is a bit of a Spanish feel in Slovenia because uh, we had pizza last night in a restaurant and they had Iberia ham mm. hanging from the wall. And even before we saw that, um, I said it felt Spanish. Oh, look at this. Look at the bunnies. There's bunnies and sheep in here. Someone is playing some guitar music. A lovely little street, it says, Popper 
art and there is like a little like a candlestick holder or something or maybe it's an ashtray outside the window and there's a spar coming up oh i love a spar Yes. There's also a DM right there. Ah, DM for all your pharmacy needs. I think we should say something about the train service because um, they seem to have a break in service in the afternoon. Now, there are some trains running, but you have to change at that place was called Zabidi Most or something. Um, but we are planning to get the 14, no, sorry, not the 14. The 16.22, that's right, 4.22 train back in the afternoon. And it's the equivalent one of the one that we got. It is Slovenian Railways and it is direct. It should take about an hour and a half roughly going back. So it'll get us back to Ljubljana at about half past five, a quarter to six sort of time. So just before rush hour. Anyway, I think I'm going to check out the spar. Well, we did buy a few bits and pieces at Spar. I got a lovely loaf of toasty bread and it is dated um, a good 10 days, I think, ahead, maybe eight days. So it'll keep, it'll keep for when we get home. And you got some chocolate, I think. And also a bag of crisps. Yeah, and also some coffee. I do like to try the local coffee. Oh, what's this? Look. The one with the baby. Look at this lovely bunny with a baby. And a pink bunny. This is fudge. Is this fudge? Yeah. And the dragon. Of course, the dragon is the symbol of Ljubljana. These are all jelly cats. So you would, of course, expect them to have the jelly cat dragon here. Oh, look at this. This lovely fountain. Is this like two people embracing? Maybe hugging. Oh, are there two or are there three? I see one. I There's three faces here, all entwined. And there are three feet as well. Yeah. Are these pharaohs, Paul? Uh, they look Egyptian to me. Forming arts? Because I think this is a cinema. Oh, right. Right. Kino. Lovely, wide, pedestrianized street. And it seems to be quite new. I mean, the ground mm. seems to have been paved quite recently. I can actually smell concrete or cement or something. So perhaps it has just been renovated. Oh, you've discovered an op shop, have you? No, I have noticed that a lot of these um, vintage type of um, secondhand places there's an abundance of them because I think I've seen a lot of them. Uh, there was one called Humana, I think, and then there were other ones, but then they do also say secondhand to indicate that it has been pre-worn and pre-loved. Street food as it's supposed to be. I don't think they <laughs> No, it looks closed down. Oh my God, look at this. Don't do it now. Look at this, Paul. This machine, I think it's going to pick up the trash. It's like one of those gripper machines at the amusements. So I think they have to wait until they like get it at the exact point. Oh, it's, it's going. Look. Oh, my God. The whole thing comes up. No. Oh, goodness. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this. That's one way to collect the rubbish, isn't it? Uh -huh. Wow. I wouldn't stand underneath it. Oh, it's going down again. And this thing slides. Did it empty it? I don't know, does it suck it up or something? Oh, it says this one's full of glass. This is glass. And down it goes. Wow. Did it empty it? Well, it just lifted it up and then the arm's gone back in. Oh. I don't know if it kind of sucks it up. I didn't see it do anything. Or I wonder, does it check the weight or something? And then depending on the weight. Maybe it's not heavy. Maybe enough. it's, yeah. Wow. That's incredible. 
Wow, so look at this. So these units, the entire footpath comes up. So they grip onto these, hooks? I don't know, hooks. Yeah, this is the one that came up. The glass. Yeah, um, I guess we could see. I'm scared to stand on this. How do you put the glass in? Do you pull it out? You pull it out? Yeah. Or, or oh, no, is, is it with your foot? Try that. All oh, right. It's empty. No, there's some in there. Oh, is there? It's kind of dirty. Oh, so that's, that's why you use your foot, you see. Look at these fabulous cakes and sweets. Aren't those Turkish Delight or something? Oh, it's Turkish Delight type stuff. Yeah, so it is. Oh, look, it even says Turkish Delight. We've seen this type of tree before, but I think it's worth mentioning. They almost look as though they're sort of like growing into one another. And they've got little baubles hanging off them, almost like chestnuts or something. I don't know what type of tree it is. Maybe this is the Ljubljana tree. That'll make you feel at home. Oh yeah, Broadway, NYC fashion. Yeah, it's all for the ladies, I think. Look at this, Paul. What creature is that, do you think? I don't know. There's another one over here. Lovely flowers too. Who's this on the bike, Paul? Joseph Pelican. Joseph Pelican, 1885 to 1977. I wonder what the significance of the bike is. Actually, I don't think it's the bike. He's carrying a camera, look. Oh. I would suspect that he was an early day YouTuber. Please subscribe. You've spotted the National Hall. Yeah, it's a neo-Renaissance palace built as the cultural, political, and social center of Slovenian bourgeois in Selji. Since 1945, it has hosted the headquarters of regional and municipal authorities. Oh, hi. Now, we've seen a lot of post boxes while we've been here, Paul, uh -huh. but we haven't actually featured one yet, and now is the chance. And what I would say about them is, is that they are almost identical to the Spanish post boxes, Correos. Oh, are they? Yeah, the sort of the yellow ones. We've got a nice little park here with a rather interesting sculpture in the middle. I wonder what it is. Actually, a couple of interesting sculptures. I'm gonna to have to step on the grass a bit here to get over to this one. This looks like giant chairs and I would say there's probably water comes out of this at some point, so it's probably some sort of fountain. Oh yes, Voda. I think it means not drinking water. Voda is water. Let's walk over here. So I guess the water must like flow around here, maybe it spurts out over here, onto this, and flows down and around. Oh, this is a very interesting um, plaque or erection of some sort. What is the significance of this? I have no idea, but it is rather eye-catching. Oh, look, there are 
naked people. There's a naked man over there. Are they all naked? We've seen a lot of sculptures while we've been here. There's quite interesting um, statues and monuments in Ljubljana and beyond. This building looks as though it might be the theatre. We have the comedy and tragedy faces. That's a clue. I like the clock tower. It looks like a bell tower. I'm not sure if it's a church or if it's a town hall. And here it is close up. It's a church, actually. You can see the Virgin Mary and Joseph, I guess. But it's unusual to see a church with a clock face on it, I think. Or am I imagining things? We have a museum here. Yeah. The Museum of Recent History. Ah, of Recent History of Selji. Selji? Is this the yeah. Tourist Information Centre, Paul? Yeah. Ooh, who fancies a big ice cream? We're walking up into a big square now. I take it that's a church over there. Yes. Now that I know churches have clock faces, I've learned something today. And we have a religious symbol here in the middle of this square. It looks like it anyway. It is, can I read this? Beta Maria Virgo. Taking time to reflect, Paul? Hmm, yes. I think it's time for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. <gasps> Bells are just rung. Interesting looking church. Ah, information in English. St. Daniel's Church, 13th century. The current minster, initially a Romanic single nave church with two towers, has been refurbished and rebuilt several times throughout the history. The interior keeps remarkable Gothic heritage. The sanctuary of Our Lady of Sorrow, late 14th century, decorated with rich masonry, and a stone sculpture of Peter, 1415. built into the wall. I'm not sure what it is. A very weird looking kind of creature. So many little side streets, aren't there? Mm -hmm. What's this, a honey shop, souvenirs. The billet house, this building with entirely preserved early Renaissance architecture was assigned as quarters for board and lodging of soldiers. Wow. 
Oh look, Alfred Nobel. Oh. From the uh, Nobel Prize. Or should I say Alfred Nobel? Well, we are now on the hunt for lunch and we don't go in to restaurants unless there is a menu outside. We saw one which, well, there was only one other set of customers in. It was pasta and pizza, but no menu. So, so no go. No. So there is a little hint. If you own a restaurant, make sure you have a copy of your menu outside. I kind of feel like there's like more stuff down there. All these little sort of right. cubby holes, yeah. Look. Well, there certainly is some sort of, I don't know if there's a shop or there's some sort of stall with Christmas balls. Oh, look, a hair studio. Diane, if you're watching, there we are. Look, left over some Christmas. A bin full of toys. There weren't that many options for lunch, but no. we did find this Japanese restaurant called Otoki, Japan Bistro, with sushi and oh. pizza. What's it say? Oh. Is this actually, it does say pizza. Does it say pizza? Japan Bistro, with sushi, salati, rosanci, and pizza. Pizza? Do you know what all those are? I didn't see pizza on the menu no. in there. Anyway, it, it does say it up there. So, what do I want to say? I don't know. I had the chicken teriyaki. <laughs> I had the chicken teriyaki. I had the salmon seafood combo, which was eh. Yeah, my chicken was really nice, actually, so I did give some to Paul. And we had mm -hmm. a Curran beer each. This guy did a thing. What is this, Paul? It's a well, I think. Is it a wishing well? Because there's like a five cent coin in there, look. I think I'm blind, I don't see it. Oh, it's a very shiny one as well. And I think I want it. We've got a little market here. I'm not sure if there was more earlier on, but there's like a flower stall over here. Yeah, and fruit over here. Nice little seating area around the tree. So what have you thought of Selye, Paul? I think it is quite quirky and it's very charming. Yes, it's very quiet as well. It does remind me of Spanish towns again. Very quiet. Yeah, um, just one of those sort of mountainous towns. Of course, Slovenia is very mountainous. I don't know what sort of height we're at here. Um, but it's been quite an enjoyable day out. It would have been nice to get to the castle, but you would need more time and possibly have to take a taxi or a or, bus Or a up car there. if yeah. you had one. Well, the sun is coming out when it's almost time for us to leave. It's been a bit overcast, but that's always the way. And also cold. Yes, it is quite chilly today. Um, but before we go, we've got about an hour left here before we take the train back to Ljubljana. And I think I'm in need of a cake and some coffee. Yes.
And we are back in Ljubljana, and quite fittingly, we are back on the Triple Bridge, where we started our first episode. It's time to go. It's almost sunset, and it's sunset on this trip and this series oh, as well. No. What was your highlight of the stay, Paul? I liked a lot about this trip, so it's pretty hard to pinpoint one or two things. I think one of the things I did like was the little train ride where we went to all those places and then we got to see all those tourist places. Another thing that really stood out was Ljubljana Castle because it was overlooking the whole city as a whole and you could see everywhere like on a 360 degree angle so that was a really good um tourist thing that we did as well but yeah it is sad that we are going now but i think that those memories will live with me for the rest of my life and for me i really liked seeing all those dogs when we walked around the saturday market and elsewhere in the city because they are a real symbol of Slovenia and they are revered in this country. And of course, the beer, especially the Union. And we did see the brewery as well. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel today and also the series. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because it costs you nothing and it will help us on our journey to a thousand or two thousand subscribers and please also give us a thumbs up for those of you that have liked this episode and for those of you that want to leave a comment please do so as well and also if you would like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way there is a link in the description so from Ljubljana from Slovenia it's goodbye see you next time see you later We never got the puffy little pancakes, look. I think that we ought to. and then you put something on on top yeah you choose what you want uh, to put on top what do you want to put on top oh so what do you have so you have chocolate you have... yeah white chocolate classic chocolate nutella hazelnut dark chocolate caramel forest fruit pistachio tiramisu ferrero rocher rafaelo sour cherry mango i also have raspberry puree classic peach jam so what oh. do you think I think I'll just get the, the classic the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so one with classic chocolate? Yeah. So yeah, it would just be one. <laughs> no, okay. because it is a lot, right? Yeah, it's one row, so oh, uh, wow. ten little pancakes. Yeah, it's just the one then. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. We, because we ate too much. Okay. Um, how much? Uh, it's five seventy, please. Okay. And if you have any change, it would be great. Okay. I, yeah. ha I have it exactly then, I think. Because we see your shop and then I thought... This oh, is our last night, so we have to Because we are going home tomorrow. Oh, and yeah, I yeah. saw... No, because we are staying right around the corner. Oh, yeah, in that... Uh, Best we, Western. Western. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then we see this every day and then we think... Oh my gosh, yeah, I... The last day you have to try. Yeah, well, at least we come one time, right? Yeah, so, true, true. So, so hopefully it would be really nice to eat. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, this is sort of like 
pancake, right? Yeah, this is little pancakes. Yeah. No, because we have something in Chinese where you, where they make those little ball things, and then it's made with um sweet batter, and then it's kind of like crispy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we do have that in. Chinatown. Ah, okay. So okay. this no, is so. This is like classic pancakes, just oh, a small one. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine, but then this looks similar. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye bye. Where should we have it? Yeah. Over oh, here. Are we having it here? Yeah. Right, let's try this. I'm gonna set it down there. Why don't you have one first, Paul? Why don't I have this one? Well, it smells nice, I can smell it from oh, here. Oh wow. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. divine. Mm. Yes, folks, you really must come to the Vienna. <laughs> <laughs>